adolescents and audiences kind of go together because um, I remember playing this song when I was 12 for this boy. I'd written a song for this boy and everybody knew in the school about it. And he threatened to beat me up if I played it. And it was going to be in front of the whole school, you know, assemblies. His name was John. Well, you know, I have braces and pigtails and he was dating the girl, S Sylvia, you know, 14 and should be, you know, um, on the front of a ship, you know, one of those. And the point is, <laughs> she, um, I sat there wetting my pants. I mean, my knees were water. He was sitting right there with all his cute friends. And, you know, what are you going to do? You're 12 years old. You have a crush on somebody. And you really want to say, you know, buddy, in 15 years, I'm not going to have braces anymore. And I'm not going to have my knees like water. And I might be an interesting person. And you know, you shouldn't be so mean to me. But adolescence is that time when I think it can be, the, it's the cruelest place on earth. It can really be um, heartless. And I played that song. And um, everybody knew what was going on. Needless to say, he didn't beat me up. And he came up to me and said, that was really better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and I haven't heard from him since. So I think about that sometimes when I have to go play out in front of an audience. And I go, well, my knees are weak and they're full of water. <laughs> Do you ever play the song these days? Do you no. Ever play the song? No.